Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing okay. This is part two of this cute little picture here. And uh, we did pumpkin uh, in part one. And then I did one leaf and then I just finished it up off camera like I had said I was going to do. And I'm going to do the floor here. So um, we're inking it. I'm going to do if I can find the right ink. Do I have it out? <laughs> Honest, I did. <laughs> okay, we're going to start with gathered twigs. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to show up on the paper, so we're going to ink up our little pad. This is the one I used for the yellows and everything else in the pumpkin. We're going to just double check and see if we get a brown tone. We do. I'm just going to take it down the lines um, that are already here. So ink it, use the softness there and just pull it out on the paper. Okay, we're just going to get a, a little tone of um, the brown here. And we're just going to kind of blend it out to the side. I'm not going to be too uh, picky about what color goes down here. We just want something on there. And like I said, I wasn't sure how this was going to work with the uh, gray paper. So we're just going to get it kind of like a shadow. Okay, so that's one color. Then we're going to go in with, um, sorry, the de-stress ink in a uh, vintage photo because I want a couple of tones in here. This is a redder tone and I just inked that corner and I'm going to go where the um, leaves are. Kind of go in them, unround them, under them, back on top of them. It doesn't matter. We're just getting a shadow in here. And then if you want, you can bring some of that down those lines that are on the wood. Okay. Boom. Like I said, we're just going for the kind of an... Uh, abstract coloration here. <clears throat> okay. Then we're going to take a brown. It doesn't matter what brown. Do I have a brown on my desk? <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, we've got the polychromos out, so I'll just open that up and grab a brownish tone. What do we got? Burnt Sienna. And you can go down, maybe shadow a little more, add in some lines just for visual interest. Okay. A few here and there. Boom. It's good enough for me kind of gives us an interest down here on the paper. <clears throat> I think we'll take that out over here a little bit. Maybe a little out over there. Gives a pumpkin to sit on something that way. Okay, that looks good. And we're going to work on the little kitties. I have on the first uh, part put a little bit of white um, charcoal in their noses. I'm going to get down just a little bit closer we're going to do one cat and then the other cat's going to be done the same way. So we have a little nose here. Darken that up a little bit. Then I put in, I need this sharpened. Uh, to sharpen these pencils, well sharpen all my pencils, I use a, a Doll 133 pencil sharpener. It's a crank. Gives them a nice sharp point. Okay. A little bit darkness there. Then we're going to bring some of this up. And just kind of use the lines that we already have here. Make them fluffy.
You can make them really fluffy if you want. <laughs> Want to leave a little bit of the um, paper showing. I'm going to turn the kitty around a little here. Or you put in white on top, but I think it's okay to leave some of that gray showing there. Depends on how black you want your black kitties. Okay, and their paws too. And we have a little white up there. Okay, the eyes um, to me look upside down, <laughs> but I'm just going to bring that pupil up here a little bit. I think it should be up at the top and I may come in with a white pencil and darken it down there or lighten it. can't really darken on this paper for, for me at least. I've, I've, it's, a, it's an interesting experience. I don't know how many gray uh, Owned pages I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, a little more in here. And we're going to bring in a Prisma White. I think I have one here somewhere sharp. And we're going to bring that up this way. Just kind of change them from what they were. Okay, still leaving in our white. Okay. Throw a little shadow up here. in here. Okay, now we're going to put a color in the eyes, and both of them are going to be done the same way. So we're going to go in with, oh, maybe some turquoise colors. Or greens, turquoisey greens. Let's see what we got here. Cobalt turquoise. Well, these look good. Okay, so we have a turquoise, uh, cobalt turquoise, chrome oxide green fairy, and deep cobalt green. So we're going to start <laughs> with probably, yeah, the dark uh, deep cobalt green here. So we're going to add a little of this in here. Let's 
it's a pretty color. And then we're going to go in with the uh, cobalt turquoise. And then lastly, we're going to bring in the uh, chrome oxide green fury. I think I want something just a little greener than that because we got really blue eyes here. So I'm going to bring in some grass green right down here at the bottom. Kind of go up towards the top there. Okay. And we're going to darken that, get the black in here, go around the eye. Lighten that up a little later. Just darken up here. Want to get him a little darker. There we go. He's got kind of a little cheek going on over here, you can see. Not much of it, but you can see a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of white, get right in here. A little bit back here. More of that blue just to cover that up a little. Hey, not that much. Eeks. <laughs> so I put it in there. I wanted it there for a reason. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'll do the other kitty in the same way. And then we will just do the background and we will be done with this picture. So I will go off camera, finish the kitten, and then I'll do the background. Okay, kitty cats are done. I know they don't look too scary. It's probably because I changed the eyes, but I think they're cute, so I'm gonna leave them as is. What we're gonna do is the background and I'm going to do it in an oxide 
I'm going to put it back here and we're going to mix two colors. So one's going to be an oxide, one's going to be just distress ink. Um, so it's going to be a, a pretty bright purple that I'm going to put on first and then I'm going to go in with the stormy sky which is a dark blue afterwards and it will be after I spray it too. So I have the um, distress, distress sprayer which has a trigger on it that uh, can do different sprays um, depending on how slowly you bring it back. And I'm going to try it out with this because I haven't done um, something like this in a while. So we're going to get a purple one on here and rag close and pencils out of the way and hopefully you can see the whole thing. We're going to do the top half of the page or not the bottom so <laughs> I'll try to keep you up on top. Now this is a little different from um, the Distress Ink because this is an opaque coloring not a transparent. It also has like a creamy texture sits on top of the paper longer than the Distress Ink which goes right into the paper. So it's more like a chalk paint sort of so it'll stay up on it but it works the same as Distress Ink when you spray it with water. If you want to know a whole bunch of information about that, you can look at uh, Tim Holt's um, website and he will explain the difference between the Distress Ink and the oh, um, oxides. But uh, just right out there, one's opaque, one's transparent. So if you want to use a oxide in your coloring book and you don't mind covering up everything you have on the paper, <laughs> go for it. This you have to be a little careful with because it will blur right over the lines. You have to get it quick. I'm just going to go up here very softly around the kitty. Again, soft. And then you can push it down a little harder when you get further away from the things you're trying not to cover with the ink. Okay. So again, uh, I kind of like the, uh, I'm going to put a piece of paper back there, bottom. We don't really want to go all the way to the top, but it kind of looks like I'm going up there. So <laughs> we'll just get a little coloring up there. But see how creamy it is here. It's something I don't like to use in the coloring books for that reason, but it does blend a lot easier than the Distress Ink if you're a beginner at it. Put some in here. Sorry about my watch. It's telling me to breathe. <laughs> I always get amused at it when it does that. I am breathing. Okay. So around, down and around here, we want to connect down to the floor. So just get it down and around there. Connect it and out a little bit. Both sides get on the paper so I don't get it all over my desk. Do, 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 do. Next to the kitty paw. Okay. There. And yeah, it looks all chunky and choppy, but that's okay because we are going to spray it with water and it's going to be coming up. So again, this trigger, if you pull it back very slowly, will give you this splattered effect of water, which is what I'm after. Okay, then we just dry it up. If you've got some on the cat and you don't want it there, use this water to dry it up with or get the cat wet and it won't take up your pencil but it will take up the ink. Okay. So we want to get that nice splattery effect up here. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we have to let this completely dry. It'll look different when it's dry from what it looks like now. Um, the oxide in here changes the color of the ink a little bit. So again, I have to let that completely and totally dry before I go to the next stop or step. So 
<laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, there we are, all dry. I'm going to add a little bit more um, color into this little guy here. It's not as dark as his buddy, but I'm also going to give him more of a like a worried look here. <laughs> eyebrow worries. Some little triangle there. Okay, and you can go back in here and pull out your fur over the ink. Because we did ink in here a little bit. Want to darken up their paws, Annie? You can go do that. Okay, now I have a Posca pen here in orange. I'm going to shake it up here because you have to activate these things. And I'm going to make these um, little squiggles here kind of look like they're coming from inside the pumpkin. And like you didn't scrape it out good enough. Gonna add those in and put some down here in his teeth too. And maybe one over here. And if you want to bring any orange in here, you can bring some in this way. Just blend it on up. So wherever you want it. Okay, can go back in and touch those up with um, one of the pencils if you don't like the way it looked. So let's see. Um, Dark, dark orange, dark orange, dark orange, darkish orange. How's that? Uh, this is cadmium red. We'll get you down a little closer so you can see the little orange blobs in here. You can dark them up. Or you can use a brown in there. Give her a little shadow just at the tip top. This is burnt sienna. <laughs> I had to see what color I had. So you can add little details that way. You can do it whatever color you like. I just happened to have the orange one sitting there, so I thought it would be fun. And you can knock down these little edges here too, if you like. But it's a fun way to do that. We need to get a white one in here for the kitty cats. We have whiskers to put on these little guys. So 
So we have some whiskers that come up here. And then, of course, our whiskers that come out this way from his nose, which is around there. So they'd be coming out here. And then I'll knock them back there. So we got little whiskers there. We've got our little whiskers here. And then you can put some fluff in his ears if you want. Make sure you get some cuteness here. We need to do his eyes. So we want to put some highlights in here. Give him those. Okay. We can do that in the pumpkin too. <laughs> I don't know where I'd put it, but I'm going to put a nice little blob of white in here. Then I'm just going to blend it out. So I want that corner of his eyes really bright white. So put it down, give it a second to dry, and then blend it up. We'll do that with his nose. And then a couple of his teeth here. Okay. And if you want, you can knock it back a little bit just so it's not so obnoxious. I'll put some in the eyes and the nose up here. Okay, and we could do a little down here on the pumpkin itself. That side and then up here. And I'll go like that. And we'll get a little up here in his stem work. And I think I'm going to leave his uh, leaves and stuff as is. So there we go. And that is our picture. It's rather cute. I could turn off the lights and you can see what it looks like without lights. It always looks a lot different without the blaring lights on it. What I'm going to do is take it and take a picture and I will post it at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun coloring these little guys. Gray paper. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye now. Okay, that is dry for the most part here. So we're going to bring in some of the stormy sky. Change pads. Ink this puppy up. <laughs> and we're going to go over some areas here and darken it up. Not every place, just here and there. 
and some places darker than others. I got some ink on the pumpkin. I try to get that off. Uh, the oxides take longer to dry, so you have some wiggle room with them. I was asked about how quickly it takes uh, the distress inks to dry, and it's almost as quick as you put it on the paper if you put it down lightly. So we just want to get some here and there, and we're going to spray it again. And get some of that blue up. It'll probably take some of that purple up also. So we just want to go around and do the same thing. There we go. And then we're going to go in and do our final things as soon as this dries. Okay, there we are, all dry. I'm going to add a little bit more um, color into this little guy here. It's not as dark as his buddy, but I'm also going to give him more of a, like a worried look here. <laughs> eyebrow worries. Some little triangle there. Okay, and you can go back in here and pull out your fur over the ink. Because we did ink in here a little bit. Want to darken up their paws, Annie? You can go do that. Okay, now I have a Posca pen here in orange. I'm going to shake it up here because you have to activate these things. And I'm going to make these um, little squiggles here. Kind of look like they're coming from inside the pumpkin. Like you didn't scrape it out good enough. Gonna add those in and put some down here in his teeth too. And maybe one over here. And if you want to bring any orange in here, you can bring some in this way. Just blend it on up. So wherever you want it. Okay, can go back in and touch those up with um, one of the pencils if you don't like the way it looked. So let's see. Um, 
dark dark orange dark orange dark orange dark ish orange how's that uh, this is cadmium red we'll get you down a little closer so you can see the little orange blobs in here you can dark them up or you can use a brown in there give it a little shadow just at the tip top I don't even know this is burnt sienna. <laughs> I had to see what color I had. So you can add little details that way. You can do it whatever color you like. I just happened to have the orange one sitting there, so I thought it would be fun. And you can knock down these little edges here too, if you like. But it's a fun way to do that. We need to get a white one in here for the kitty cats. We have whiskers to put on these little guys. So we have some whiskers that come up here. And then of course our whiskers that come out this way from his nose which is around there so they'd be coming out here. And then I'll knock them back there. So we got little whiskers there. We've got our little whiskers here. And then you can put some fluff in his ears if you want. Make sure you get some cuteness here. We need to do his eyes. So we want to put some highlights in here. Okay, we can do that in the pumpkin too. <laughs> I don't know where I'd put it, but I'm going to put a nice little blob of white in here. Then I'm just going to blend it out. So I want that corner of his eyes really bright white. Put it down, give it a second to dry, and then blend it up. We'll do that with his nose. And then a couple of his teeth here. And if you want, you can knock it back a little bit just so it's not so obnoxious. And put some in the eyes and the nose up here. Okay, and we could do a little down here on the pumpkin itself. That side and then up here. And I'll go like that. And we'll get a little up here in his stem work. And 
And I think I'm going to leave his uh, leaves and stuff as is. So there we go. And that is our picture. It's rather cute. I could turn off the lights and you can see what it looks like without lights. It always looks a lot different without the blaring lights on it. What I'm going to do is take it and take a picture and I will post it at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun coloring these little guys. Gray paper. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.